Has the miraculous Toma of Our Lady of Guadalupe been touched up by artists over time? It's a bit of a sensitive topic. I've been to the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe two times. I plan to go again. I have great devotion to Our Lady of Guadalupe. But doing research and studying, I have learned and confirmed that the miraculous image, the tilma, has been touched up by artists over time. I've been able to identify three such touch-ups. Um, one was an original edition of Cherubs, which was removed. Uh, I'll cite that in just a moment. Uh, the other is the edition of a crown, a crown of nine or 10 or 12 points or spikes. You can see that uh, right next to me, right there. Uh, that crown was there from the time of Lepanto, so the 1500s, all the way until the 1800s when it suddenly disappeared. But you can still see the line on the current image if you look close enough. So I'm going to go through those the three phases. Uh, before you, I'm going to throw up a picture for you. And this will show you... Um, some some differences. So the picture on the left is a photograph of the image of Guadalupe in 1923, and on the right is 1931. Now it's pretty obvious that it's either been touched up or it's a different image. Some obvious things going on here are the eyes. The left eye is a little bit different. They're shading, uh, especially on the right eye. The nose, the tip of the nose is longer. The lips are different, but the most noticeable thing is the, uh, the double chin kind of looking there. There's some extra shading and flesh um, along the jawline and under the chin. And I'll explain maybe why that happened. But, but first off, let's look at the first uh, ever recorded uh, mention that a artistic change was made to the Tilma. Uh, we read from a Jesuit named Father Francisco de Florencia. He says in 1668, he's writing, so this is pr pretty early, but still over 100 years, uh, Guadalupe happened in 1531. He says, those who cared for her cult considered that it would be nice to adorn her with cherubs around the sun's rays. So it was executed but in a short time, everything superimposed was disfigured so that they were forced to erase it. Because of this, it seems that in some parts around the image, the colors are skipped or faded. So around the outer edges, let me put up a, a copy of one here. They say around the edges of the, the gold sun, this is a copy, this isn't the real one. They added in cherubs and then later said, no, look, that, that looks dumb. Let's get rid of that. So they got rid of it. So we do know that early on is, you know, in the memory of Father Francisco de Florencia in 1668, he knows that something was added and then something was taken away. Now, the main thing, however, is the crown. If you look at the first known copy of Our Lady of Guadalupe, it's the version that was uh, taken in the Battle of Lepanto. And you can see it there on the screen. You'll notice everything looks right, except the crown, the pointed crown on the head. Now, every copy, if you go to the museum at Our Lady Guadalupe in Mexico, if you go to the museum, which is attached to the old basilica, you'll see all these official copies of Our Lady Guadalupe that were made for dignitaries, princes, I don't know, popes, cardinals. They wanted copies of it. You didn't have foot photography back then, so you commissioned a really good artist to make you a copy on all the copies. Every single one of them, they have a collection of them there. They have this pointy crown. The points are similar to the aura around our Lady Guadalupe, if you look very closely at the crown, I'm looking right here, you can see that the crown dips slightly to your left, if you're watching this. The crown is a little bit uneven. It goes down until the left just a little bit. Everybody see that? Now, 
The images of Our Lady Guadalupe that you're familiar with do not have this crown on it. It's completely gone. Let me show you what it looks like now. Take these off. Here we go. Okay, so on the left, you can see a painting. On the right, you see this is the real Our Lady Guadalupe in Mexico. On the right, you can see where that crown used to be. It's been removed. It's been scrubbed off. But you can see the, the greenish-blue hue of Our Lady's mantle. There's gold stars on it. And as it gets to the level where the crown used to be, you can see that the bluish-green color is gone. It goes brown right at that line. The reason is there used to be a crown on the image right there. Now, where did it go? Why is it gone? Well, it was noted in the late 1800s that this crown disappeared and it caused kind of a scandal for people there in Mexico City. Um, probably what happened is that on February 8th, 1887, Pope Leo XIII granted a canonical coronation for the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And by 1888, the crown had, had gone missing. In fact, it was first noticed on February 23rd, 1888 by people that the crown that they had always seen painted, or maybe it's a, it's a gold leaf that had been on the image that everyone knew and remembered, February 23rd, 1888, that crown was gone. And then in October 12th of 1895, a formal coronation, a different crown, not on the image, but I think it's on the frame is how it was done, was added. So what happened? Why did this happened. Well, here's what I think happened. This is just me speculating. I think in 1887, Pope Leo XIII gave them permission to have a, a canonically crowned image of Our Lady, giving, giving this, this image clout in the church. But then they thought to themselves, well, it's already been crowned. It's had a crown on it for hundreds of years. Since the Battle of Lepanto, someone had placed a crown on there, painted or gold or something. And so they stealthily removed it. But of course, everyone noticed in 1888 that the crown was gone. Now, there's also a legend that a artist um, on his deathbed confessed that a cleric there in Mexico City had paid him to remove the crown. And this was, of course, very scandalous. So it seems to me, and I'll, I'll put the Put it back on the screen for you. You can see here that something, oops, this here. Something was going on here. You can see that in the old replicas, the crown is there. There's a black line. If you look at the picture on the left, which is a copy, I think this copy might be, I'm not sure when it is, but you can see a black line at the base of the crown. And then on the right, you can see that. And the one on the left is not the best copy, but on other copies, you can see that the crown dips to your left. And if you look at the original image, which is on the right side of your screen, you can see how that line does dip a little bit to the left. And you can also see above the image how it's all corrupted. The, the rays, which are on the right and the left, are all kind of muddled. Uh, it's, it's really messy. You, it almost looks like it's been damaged right there. So that's one of the changes that's happened to Our Lady Guadalupe. And, and again, it was noticed in 1888 that the crown poof was gone. I'd like to mention one more thing, and that is on all the early copies of Our Lady Guadalupe, this is the Lepanto one on my right, you'll notice that the tilma actually goes up and kind of makes a, a tongue shape at the top of it. And all the modern versions have all of this cut off. Let me see if I have a no, I don't have one. I thought I had one illustrating this, but I don't. That's another difference. All right, now let's talk about the faces. I'm going to put the faces back on. Okay, so clearly something has happened here between 1923 and 1931. Now, we know from our 
history books that Mexico underwent a revolution. And it's said that during this time, because there was so much destruction of the churches and sacking of churches, that the true, real image of Our Lady Guadalupe was removed from the church and put into storage. And then after the revolution was over, it was brought back out. So this would have been, you know, from about 1926 to 1929 right? Mid to late twenties. And during this time, it seems that the image was either touched up, two options here, it was touched up and changed, or it's a different image. It's just a totally different image. Um, was there a mix up? I don't know. I, I think it's probably the original image, but for some reason, touch ups were made. Maybe it was damaged when it was taken out during the, the revolution. And they felt that it needed to be touched up. But my opinion is, just looking at them on the screen, the one on the left is very pretty and delicate. And the one on the right, um, it just lacks that. It's a little bit more heavy. The cheeks, the left cheek, looks a little bit kind of swollen or more heavy. Like I said, there's, there seems to be something like a double chin um, on that one as well. And more shading around the eyes, also a difference in the nose. The hair is obviously a lot darker as well. So something's going on here. But if you look at the one on the right, that's the one you see when you go to Our Lady Guadalupe. Of course, it's in color. So what does this mean? Well, I think it shows that humans are always trying to tamper with the divine. It's just at the Church of the Holy Sepulcher, and you see how century after century, architects and artists and priests tampered with the edicule, uh, which is the tomb of Christ, cutting it away, um, and also at Golgotha as well. Uh, there's constantly this tinkering, and it seems that uh, whether it's clerics or clerics commissioning artists, they want to update and make Our Lady better. That's not needed. Let the image stand for its own. We know that they added originally some cherubs around. That was taken off. We know that they added crowns. That was taken off. I'd be curious to know whether the image of the, the earlier image is really uh, the real one or is it a fake one? Which one is which? And is there any way to know if there's been some paint or even just some shading that's been going on on Our Lady Guadalupe. I'd like some answers. Uh, I plan, like I said, to go back to Our Lady Guadalupe to pray there. It's one of the most moving experiences I've had in my entire life. I would say not quite going to the tomb of our Lord, the Holy Sepulchre, but you know I've seen the Shroud Turn and St. Peter's and all that, and, and Our Lady Guadalupe is a strong second place. It's a place of motherly affection and just seeing that, that she came down and was with us and this image is still with us. So Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. And if you have any answers or solutions on these tamperings and what had happened in the 1920s, I'd love to hear from you. Please leave a comment. And until next time, Ave Maria, Our Lady Guadalupe, pray for us.